was Mother's Day, uh, it was a few years ago now, and uh, we had uh, a UTV, which is a kind of a, a small version of like a pickup truck uh, that we're using to move some of the rock and some of the dirt, and I'd loaded all the excess items in the back of that UTV as a Polaris Ranger. And we lived in an area outside of Rapid City on Highway 44 by Johnson Siding that kind of overlooks Rapid Creek backed up uh, to an area that uh, was, was overlooking the creek and realized as I got out that I had backed into an area that when I got back in, I really needed to make sure that I hit the gas so I didn't back up over the cliff. Released the emergency brake, hit the gas, forgot that it was still in reverse. I instantly went backwards and rolled over the cliff. I was thrown from the UTV and thrown about 150 feet uh, down the cliff and landed on jagged rock. My legs were, were stretched out in front of me, but I just couldn't feel them. And my chest was flat against the top of my thighs. And uh, Shelby, uh, our daughter, uh, was the first one. She was eight years old at the time, was the first one to get to me. And instantly she laid my, my head in her lap and she began to pray pray like I have never heard someone pray before. Just God, just save my dad. I'm Dave Westergaard and uh, I'm married to my best friend, Wendy. Uh, we have been married for a little over 26 years. We have three amazing kids, an awesome son-in-law and just a brand new, uh, our first grandson, Titan. And uh, I uh, have the opportunity to work as the CFO for the Riddles Group here in Rapid City and uh, enjoy in my free time uh, barbecuing. I love to grill. Uh, I love to work out in the gym. And uh, that's uh, kind of captures most of my free time outside of work. After about a three to four hour process, um, they took me in the, the ambulance to uh, what is now Monument Health. And uh, after a series of x-rays, MRIs, uh, the neurosurgeon came in and said I had fractured uh, my spine. And that fracture was pinching and had bruised my spinal cord. He gave me this stern warning as he was wrapping up and he said, be prepared, you will never walk again. I was in ICU for three days, and then I was uh, in the orthopedics and neuro unit at the hospital, uh, just, just simply recovering, starting some really, really minor physical therapy. I think one of the toughest days in, in um, my rehabilitation was when the physical therapist brought a catalog uh, to my room and said, I need you to pick out a wheelchair. I remember uh, Wendy was in the room at the time, and I said, I can't. I just can't look at that catalog right now. And uh, she said, how about this? How about we set it on the shelf for a little while and we'll see how the next few days go. I wouldn't say I was angry. I was questioning God. I was questioning God and his goodness in, in many respects. Still in the midst of that, I began to wonder, so why can't I play soccer with my boys again? Someday I wanna walk my daughter down the aisle. And uh, within a couple days after that, the same physical therapist said, you know, I don't think you're gonna to need to pick out a wheelchair. You're progressing in such a way. You're gonna need one, but we'll give you a loaner. About two weeks after entering rehab, uh, with a lot of physical therapists around me, I was able to take my first steps. One huge thing that God taught me through this though, he can handle our questions. He can handle our challenging uh, thought processes and, and he can lay out uh, his plan, his purpose, and those plans and his purposes are for good. And I do believe in so many respects, he worked through my family, he worked through my friends in ways that, that candidly, they couldn't have done on their own either. Trials are tough. Walking through physical trials, emotional trials, spiritual trials are tough. During the midst of those trials, you're not walking through it alone. You're walking through it with our Heavenly Father. You, you, you can hopefully walk through it with other believers, but that doesn't diminish the fact that they hurt your heart. But one thing God taught me through this time is that He is good and he has our good in the forefront of his mind. And it may not always feel good,
but our emotions are not the barometer. It's the truth that we find in His Word that we can look to and trust the fact that His plans are good.